Hey, what's going on? I'm hanging out. There's a lot going on at Jerry's house. But what's really cool is we're going to do an update on the Black Dragon. Black Dragon male. Yeah, dude. That guy was, we thought he was going to die. Yeah. Let's go was, see what's going on. Yeah, so this animal, what has it been, like five months you've had it? Yes, and I'd say he went four months without a meal. 100% four months, no food, and then he turned on like a light bulb. Right, he had problems with his mouth. We took him to Dr. Mike Gillen at PGA Animal and Clinic. he had a surgery in his mouth. Right. Surgery in his foot. Okay. He had Jeez. a whole bunch of issues. That's right, yeah. So when when these animals are caught, these animals, this these were wild caught, and when the guys who catch them aren't necessarily catching them. They just catch them. They're not catching them as pets. They're catching them to whoever will buy them. So usually what happens is when they tie them up, they tie them up by their, their fingers. So I think that's what happened. That's why he lost some he of his digits. He lost digit. a toe on, yeah, on, on each, each one of his foot. Yeah. And, uh, and then the mouth, which they Dude. think maybe he was speared in his yeah, mouth. Yeah, that's crazy. They don't know. Well, a lot of work on Jerry's part. I had him for a few days. I helped out with it, so I'm really excited to see what's been going on here. So, oh, and by the way, you notice that Jerry's been busy. He's been traveling all over the globe, but uh, he has been busy. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful enclosures. This is now the Monitor Lizard Complex at uh, the Wolf Farm here. Still so I can't wait to progress. check it out. Yeah, no worries, man. These cages will be done after I finish everything in this row. They're gonna get the concrete walls. They already have concrete floors. Okay. And then the vinyl coated mesh. Cool. And see, check out the concrete walls, guys. He poured this just in case any kind of legislation comes down the pipe. He's in compliance with any new legislation. Concrete floors throughout. These animals can't escape. This is gonna be an airlock here. So there'll be screen on top. This is the hallway. If anything gets out, it gets out into here. Yes. All right, but I'm more excited to see this black dragon. It's been a long time, man. Jerry's been uh, traveling all over, man. He's been fishing in Alaska, and then you guys went down to Costa Rica. I'm sure, I'm sure you saw a lot of cool stuff down there. And I should probably start talking low. No, no, he's... Has he been, been good? Extremely brave coming out. Wow, this is great. There's a lizard's mating right there. Oh, there you go. Look at that, got, little brown and old. Oh, no, I ruined, I ruined their, uh, their, love, their love making there. Uh, very cool, so we've got quail eggs. And monitor he's been eating regular eggs but this is what he's he's right there cool. he's gonna come back oh look at this <laughs> now sometimes sometimes they get a little bit more shy when there's two people i think food might get him to come out come on, get your food. but i can already tell just by looking at him his head looks much better his eyes he had a lot of discharge from his eyes and mouth. So there was definitely an infection. In, but the, in the very end, before he'd eat, he would get excited when I brought food in. I was putting ground turkey okay. on Monday, and then Tuesday, thawed mice. Wednesday, dog food. I was putting a different food source in front of him every day. And if he didn't eat it, then it would go to another lizard. But I kept trying and trying and trying and I had been trying eggs because we have a chicken coop here so I put fresh eggs there maybe if we get one of those out and roll it towards them what do you think because he's definitely a little shy there we go there we go and these guys are so smart I've said it so many times in so many videos that you guys may be tired of hearing me say it, but these monitor lizards are very smart lizards and they know when things are different. Oh my God, he's gorgeous. Oh, look at that, he's putting on weight. He is putting weight on. You can still see his hips a little bit, but this is a lizard that looked like Skeletor oh, a couple weeks ago. Oh, I'm so happy to see this, man. It shows you that hard work Oh, he missed out on the yoke. There we go. It shows you that with aggressive treatment and a little luck. And then, of course, I really think, Jerry, when you put him in this large enclosure, I, I talked to Tom Crutchfield, who's someone I respect as far as knowing about these animals. 
and he told me, Kenan, you gotta give the lizard a reason to live. Yeah. You've gotta give him a reason to want to get better. And by putting him in a large, beautiful enclosure outside, look at how good he looks. You've gotta be psyched, man. I know you're stuck. I'm so happy. Oh my God. I was just in Costa Rica last week and we went to your friend, um, Quetzal. Quetzal's place, Reptilandia. Right on. And uh, in Dominical, yes. and they have a large male black dragon, and I, I could have sat there all day oh, just watching so cool. that lizard. And that, then, and then my mom messaged me maybe the same day and said he's now eating in front of me and at her feet. She'd walk in here, and he was walking right up to her like, "Where's my food?" Has he taken anything other than eggs, or is it just eggs at the moment? Just eggs right now. Okay. We've been trying mice odd mice and that hasn't I'm okay yeah it, it's just eggs it just eggs right now is no big deal I mean you got to imagine you know all monitors are egg specialists they, they raid nests crocodile nests other lizard nests bird nests um, so this is good and the cool thing is he's eating the shells he's getting calcium he's getting the nutrients from the yolk but I am so happy I might have just frightened him a little bit with this camera I'm so psyched to see how well he looks. Again, guys, if we look at old footage, you'll see, if you go back and check out the older videos just from a few months ago, this animal was lethargic, uh, had a lot of problems, eye discharge. This is an incredible turnaround, man. We, you and I have been both very lucky with monitor lizards this year. My Bobby Rubino, I thought was gonna die. We nursed him back. And now this black dragon. Has he got a name yet? No, but I'm thinking Scar. Scar. <laughs> because of all the... All the, the, the drama that was involved with them, but I love it, man. They certainly are messy when they eat the eggs, some of them. He's missing quite a few of those eggs. Yeah, but that's all right. Just keep giving them a ton of food. They'll I'm gonna eat. get a, a large uh, ceramic tray and start putting the eggs in there. That way, everything that he drops is not going into the soil. Gotcha. And it's easier for him to go back and get what he misses. So cool, man. I, I, I'm, I don't want to freak him out. I want to get a better shot, but I'll just go ahead and go over here. Puffed up a little bit, but again, I, I wonder if just by being, you know, always working with him, always kind of um, touching him while we were, or while you were nursing him back, I feel like that acclimates them to you a little bit more. You know, it's weird. Like Bobby Rubino, now after that aggressive treatment, he know like he lets me pick him up. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, and now every time he gets picked up, it's rewarded with food uh, as opposed to a needle, which has got to be a lot better. Sure. So. I mean, it was towards the end of medicating him that I was starting to get almost anxiety. Like I felt sick to my stomach that he was fighting for his life every time I had to put my hands on him. Right. And it was really starting to bother me. I mean, I know he needed it. Look, he's gonna eat the whole package. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna take that into his lair. There we go. Man, that is so cool. No, I understand. You know, that's the thing I like about Jerry. He's really, um, he's really sensitive to stressing the animals out. Um, and it's just, it's a nice trait. You know, when you care about the animals, you want their their uh, overall psyche to be, you know, in good shape. Here we go. There's another egg. Chicken egg. Or is oh he wait, gonna is, get that is he going to go for that? Oh yeah. That's a big meal. Great. For a lizard that had jaw issues, like right. his jaw is perfect. Yeah, that's right. You know, at the inside of his mouth, guys. Dr. Mike had to dig out just abscess, just massive, massive abscess in his mouth. So there was a lot of necrotic material coming out of this animal's mouth. So you know what? If I had problems with my mouth, you know what happens. My little daughter, she just got her, her um, retainer. She's getting, uh, Sophia's gonna get braces. And now Sophia isn't eating as much because it hurts and she's afraid of breaking her retainer. So I can only imagine what it would feel like if you had pretty much an abscess in your mouth probably hurt to eat so thankfully this animal was strong enough to use whatever fat stores uh, stores he actually had I can't wait to see this animal with maybe another pound or two on him oh yeah 
and that's going to be an impressive lizard. And being that it's a male, remember this is a young male. This animal's going to grow. Uh, could could easily get slinky size, and possibly even bigger. How gorgeous! Oh, you keep missing it, you knucklehead. You know, I also wonder if they have to learn how to eat eggs more efficiently. I think they kind of. Um, he eats it out of the grass. He'll, does he'll he? spend the rest of the day trying to get everything that he spilled. That is awesome. I, when he first started breaking the eggs, you could see he was looking, like he almost looked disappointed. It was okay. as if he wanted the, the baby chick or the baby oh, crocodile. Wow. He was looking for the food source in the egg okay. and was disappointed that it was just yolk. Oh, I see. Very interesting. Yeah, so he'll he'll go around and, and he'll eat all that. The fact that this animal's out while we're here, I'm talking at full volume to try and talk over the power washers. He's not bothered. He's just food's taken over, man. He does keep an eye. You just moved to scratch your knee. He does keep an eye on us, but but I mean, some lizards would just bolt scurry right scurry back in their box. He's not scurrying back not in. Not at all. Which I think this is going to be a good animal for you. It's going to be a good tame animal. Yeah, that's that's amazing, man. Look at that beautiful tail. Black dragon. I can't wait for my Inky to start really putting on size. She, when you see her next, you're going to be bugging out, dude. She's getting big, Inky. It's pretty close. Here, I got it. I got it. There we go. <laughs> He loves those shells, though. He don't mind them. Every once in a while, he gets some grass. Thing. Yeah, that's not a big deal, guys. If he swallows a little grass, that will pass through. But I don't know. You guys as soaked as I am, let me know in the comments below. For those of you who've been following along uh, on this journey with Jerry's black dragon, this is a black water monitor melanistic beautiful animal and uh and this is a victory this is a major victory this animal was on death's door we didn't have a lot of hope for it but we kept the course and when i say we i mean really it was jerry i had a little bit of involvement you helped me out a lot well it was <laughs> you doing all the oh look at that. i love it i love it he's got energy man he was so lethargic this is so cool Woo! That's a score, man. Big win for this lizard and a big win for Jerry. And hopefully we'll get some babies when we introduce him to the female down the road. And she's living over here, but now you say she's become a little bit more shy. So she was eating off the tongs. Um, and since I did started the construction on the larger enclosures, she's become shy. Okay, like maybe too, all the noise and stuff. Too much all at once. Gotcha. But we may be able to get her to come out and eat them out. Well, let's have a look, man. This is really cool. Good job, little buddy. Really, really excited about that. Walking so, towards you. Yeah, he's actually coming towards me. Love it, man. This is so awesome. Uh, I just love giving you guys good news. So many times. Another egg. Oh, my gosh. That is awesome. I love giving you guys good news. And um, this is definitely good news. This is what hard work paying off looks like Jerry's filling up the water bowls it's so awesome man I love it I love it and of course John is right in there hanging out inside his corrugated tub and the female you know when they say that they're laying in a certain way so there's no pressure against their stomach okay she's put weight on again oh wow and she's been laying like maybe she's starting to cycle. Wow. So the next step is to build a door. So same species, male and female. I did a wood separation on the bottom between their two enclosures. So I can easily cut it and build a wooden door for when I want them to have access to each other. It's not introducing one to the other one's cage. Basically now it's it'll be good. one big cage for them to have together. So cool. Well done, man. Beautiful. Uh, he's the reason Slinky has such a dope enclosure because I could never have, uh, I could never have done that by myself, man. So what I can do is maybe we can, um, go in here and see if we can get a little bit of, see if she'll come out and eat. 
Do we have a you're good, we have a now she doesn't like eggs as much as him. So you'll see there's there's offerings all around her her cage. Okay. And only in extreme situations will she No, I don't see her at all. I'm gonna go ahead and poke in and maybe change in the... Uh, she's way in the back. So I guess you'll just leave them kind of by her door. Yeah, maybe I'll in the way. Yeah, it, there's a lot going on. But again, this guy doesn't seem to mind. Are you going to feed off any other... Uh... Yeah, we can... We can check out some of the other animals and see cool. how they're doing awesome man remember he's got the black roughnecks or roughnecks not black roughnecks um some roughnecks here some more baby water monitors just been super busy and you can see how this is going to be a huge area look at that so awesome yeah man. so this will be an enclosure and then two more i think those are eight by 12s so it'll be Amazing. three eight by 12. once they're finished the black dragons will transfer over here. Okay. And then I will update their enclosures. Awesome. But right now, all the small lizards are in this one large opening. Yeah. Which will become four cages later. That's so cool. So um, And for those of you guys who are complaining that Jerry was going to lose his animals because all these cages were on the driveway, well, he was already ahead of his. So takes a little time all their small cages are inside of another larger cage right so there's no way they can get out and he's got these really cool red line tongs here my buddy robin marklin sent me uh some pongs and i spread the wealth man i i like to get my friends set up with the coolest tools available That's awesome. Look at that. These are the little roughneck, the well, little roughneck you have. And the uh, little, this one actually killed the other one. It killed the other one. Wow. At that size, they were the last couple feedings before this happened. Um, they started doing tug of war over the same pinky. Okay. And I said, when I come back from Alaska, I'm separating these animals. Okay. They didn't make late. it for wow. seven days. One dominated the other. It didn't actually eat it, it just wound up stressing it out, right? Oh no, it... Oh, it, it ate it? it, it, it well, it didn't eat it. Okay. it did kill the other lizard. Okay. Wow. That's nuts. They are beautiful, man. These are little roughnecks. Oh, that's so cool. Then you got all of the um, adult or sub-adult, would you consider these roughnecks, or are these monitors? These that are the water, water monitors. monitors, yeah. And this one is becoming my favorite. Okay. That's so cool. Well, there's always an animal that just starts to really show you its personality and you kind of get attached to it, you know? Where uh, is it? Come on. <laughs> This lizard is the one that always comes right out to me. Oh yeah? Is he under there? Oh, he's, his head's facing the other way. That's why he didn't see. I saw a tongue, I think. Did you? This lizard usually, when it hears my voice, comes right out to the screen. Really? Awesome. Yep, I saw the tongue click again. They're just waking up. No worries, man. We've all seen water <laughs> monitors eat on this channel. That's fine, man. I'm just happy to see what happened with that black dragon and kind of update everyone on all the work Jerry's been doing. Um, oh, something else cool I want to show them. I want to show them this and how you've made the hides. Okay. I think those are cool. And then we'll kind of let you guys go about your day, man. Uh, I just haven't seen Jerry in a while. 
it's always good when my buddies around I have someone to go to lunch with <laughs> man haven't had much Mexican food lately so uh, hopefully I'll get a little bite to eat but I want to show you this before I go and just show you different ways you can create really cool enclosures you know um, this was definitely built with keeping things simple in mind yet he really did a great job and again okay. is, oh is there a lizard up Sorry there for the words that's uh, all right he's right above your head oh look at that that's so cool this is one of the uh whoa. <laughs> um, i don't like being under him i'm sorry buddy i'm sorry i just want to show everyone your house okay you just relax you just relax i want to show everyone i didn't realize there was a lizard in here so check this out guys corrugated tube okay goes around in a horseshoe right mm -hmm. so basically how mm -hmm. I also made it higher in the rear so water can't pool in the tube. Gotcha, that makes sense. Um, what I'd like to help out if I could, I'd like to get you some rocks. What we can do is we can stack rocks here and hide this and kind of make it look like a cave and it'll also hold some of that uh, debris from washing out in the rain. But look at these pieces of driftwood, man. Your buddy got you these, I think, huh? I love driftwood. So cool. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? All these guys were eating off the tongs. Yeah, but whatever. Yeah. Then... Now that I'm here, I'm I'm screwing everything up. But how beautiful are these rough neck monitors? And again, all doing well. Beautiful enclosures, built so well. Uh, let me tell you, this was not cheap, was it? Especially not right. <laughs> now. Not when he was building it. No way, man. <laughs> Holy. Anyway, all right, everyone, there you have it. A little video for you. We're catching you up on what Jerry's been up to. It's been a lot. So he would be finishing my enclosure and he would come home after a full day and mess around with this. I cannot thank this guy enough for everything he's done for me. So uh, there you go, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're out of here. Animals are healthy. Things are getting buttoned up here at the wolf farms, the wolf reptile farm. And uh, I just named that. I don't think that's what he's calling it. So I'm going to leave you guys. All right. Have a great day. Leave you with a beautiful shot of this roughneck monitor from Southeast Asia. See you guys later.